Hello, my name is Cyprian Popa and in today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate a file for automatic bending machine starting from a DWG. We're going to start from a DWG file that we can easily import in Allplan Engineering. This is a German software used for 3D reinforcement. Drag and drop is enough to import any DWG and we can always check if drawing units have been correctly identified with real units. All layers, colors have been imported correctly. And also all entities, nature like polylines, lines and text is kept. Now it is time to convert the lines from DWG into all plan reinforcement. So all we need to do is select the match convert uh, function and it will convert this line into a 3D reinforcement. It will also work on circles or polylines and basically all we have to input is the diameter, the quality and the mark number is generated automatically or it can be manually imposed. Creating more complex shapes like stirrup is no problem at all. There is a catalog with different patterns and different shapes so we can establish the fact that we need to mold to create a stirrup and we just specify the diameter of the stirrup, the concrete cover and by double clicking, by clicking in the diagonal opposite points of a 2D stirrup we are generating an all plan stirrup and it's really easy to do. We don't have to worry about identical stirrups because the software, although initially it might generate a different mark, at the end it will run an automatic optimization where identical marks get the same lab label. So in this manner, it's no problem to identify all the stirrups and complete them. So we select a diameter, two clicks diagonally opposed, we hit escape, and we will click on the opposite corner where we would like the tie to be created. So the bond and the overlapping is pointed towards a point. Then we will have to input the real name of the marks, which is something we get from the designer, from the bending schedule. So basically we are just reading what the designer said when he created the DWG and we input uh, the number of bars according to his design. The stirrups can be done in a similar manner or we can simply place them at the multiplication factor. So we know from the bending schedule the number of stirrups, so we select that number, we point out the stirrup shape we previously generated and we just position it somewhere on the plan. And we have the automatic labels just for our check and for our verifications. Next stage is to generate some automatic reports like bending schedules, which can be done according to different standards. So we can have a European bending bar schedule or we can have it according to an international building standard, a US code, and we see all the partial dimensions and everything as per code. Also, if we prefer Excel, it can generate automatic the bending schedules into Excel and there are plenty of languages available and also it allows editing. So it generates automatic an Excel file with the bending schedules which we can place on the plan just to make a quick verification between the initial bending schedule from the designer and what we generated with the software. Finally, we just export this file to the bending machine and we will get a text file which we can actually open. And here we just see the coordinates generated for the machines. So if we take this file and input it inside the bending machine, the machine will produce exactly all the stirrups from the drawing, all the longitudinal reinforcement and everything according to the initial plan. Thanks for watching. If you like this movie, please share and subscribe. If you are interested in a full open engineering video training, click on any of these two movies to get more details. Until next time, goodbye.